These seven puppies are the first dogs ever conceived in a test tube. You'll see that this one here is a cross between a cocker spaniel and a, and a beagle, whereas this one over here is a beagle beagle. And they all came from the same litter, but they have different moms and dads, but they were all born at the same time and were raised together. Yes, I like you too. They were born on July 10th and are now healthy five-month-olds, Professor Travis said. In vitro fertilization is the process of fertilizing an egg with sperm outside the body. The first human birth from IVF took place in 1978 and is now widely used to assist human production. But IVF efforts with dogs have repeatedly failed, until now. Dog pregnancies last only two months, and female dogs can only become pregnant once or twice a year, as they release immature eggs instead of mature eggs needed for IVF. This IVF technology in dogs could prove useful in various ways. In vitro fertilization is a really powerful tool to help preserve endangered species of dog, like the African painted dog. If we want to breed them in captivity and we collect, say, their eggs and sperm, we have to be able to do IVF to create new members of that species. It can also help with canine and human diseases. It opens up the possibility that we could identify certain genes that cause disease and then fix those, replace them with a good copy of the gene before those dogs are even born. So instead of trying to cure disease, we can help prevent it from happening in the first place. Well, we're getting wiggly now, huh? We're getting, you can tell that the photo shoot is almost over. 